Hey, the family of a Dixon County teenager fought to keep her killer behind bars at a parole hearing. Carrie Ann Newberry was 17 when she was shot and killed by, and her body was burned by James Spann. He was sentenced to life in prison. Our Marissa Sulik shows us the strong words they used today to keep Spann there. Normally when the parole hearing is coming up, I'll get it out. In this photo album, the only picture DJ Tucker has with his mom, Carrie Ann Newberry, is this one. He was five months old when his mom was murdered by James Spann. While DJ wants to turn the page and put the past behind him, My name is Zane Duncan, this is a parole review hearing. He must confront his mom's killer every two years in this room. I'm here today to ask for a second chance. Today, it's where Spann pled for parole a third time. I own what I've done. I take full responsibility for what I've done. I'm deeply sorry for what I did. For Newberry's family, being in this room is never easy, but they hope Span's actions speak louder than his words. Uh, he's wanting a second chance. Well, my daughter can't get, can't have a second chance. I spent my entire life not knowing what it would be like to have my mom because he took her. But to allow him to parole at this stage would do nothing more than to depreciate the seriousness of his offense. This is one of the, probably the top five of the worst homicides that I've worked in my 30-year career. All right, Mr. Spann, after reviewing your file and talking to you here today, I cannot vote for your release today. With the biggest sigh of relief, one parole board member voted to keep Spann in his blue jumpsuit. There's nothing he could ever say to me that would change anything. While it's a weight off their chest, they know they will be right back here in two years. I'm relieved, but I mean, two years is right around the corner, so it's kind of short lived. Today, one member of the Board of Parole recommended to keep Span behind bars. It will now go to three other members to make a final determination. In Nashville, Marissa Sulik, WSMV4.